Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see use the Azure portal to enable server-side encryption with customer managed keys for managed disk. Well, Azure Disk Storage allows us to manage our own keys when using server-side encryption for managed disk. Server-side encryption is also known as SSE. For conceptual information on server-side encryption with customer managed keys, I'll have to share some of the background about it. What exactly is the customer managed keys and what exactly is the server-side encryption? So in a nutshell, we know that Azure managed disks are encrypted with Azure storage encryption, which uses server-side encryption to protect the data and to help us meet our organizational security and compliance commitments. Azure storage encryption automatically encrypts our data stored on Azure managed disk with both OS and data disk at rest by default when persisting it to the cloud. Data in Azure managed disk is encrypted transparently using 256-bit AES encryption, which is one of the strongest block ciphers available. So we can rely on platform managed keys for the encryption of the managed disk or we can manage encryption using our own keys. If we choose to manage encryption with our own keys, we can specify a customer managed key to use for encrypting and decrypting all data in managed disk. So there are platform managed keys and then there are customer managed keys. So we can store those customer managed keys in Azure Key Vaults or Azure Key Vault Managed Hardware Security Module. All right. But to enable the server side encryption with customer managed keys for managed disk, we will have to set up the Azure Key Vault. Then we have to set up the disk encryption and then we will enable the disk encryption on an existing disk. Okay, so let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logging on to the portal. As soon as I will log on, I will set up the Azure Key Vault. So I'll click on create a resource and I will look for Azure Key Vault. Or Key Vault. I will do create. I will create a new resource group. You can create any East US standard. Rising, I'm going with standard. I will do access policy and I will do networking on networks review create. I'll hit create. It will deploy. My deployment is complete. And I will go to keys under settings of my Azure Key Vault. There are no keys. I'm going to click on generate import. I'm going to leave uh, the generate option. I'm going to do RSA and 2048 enabled. And I will hit create. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Give it a name. Click on create. Create it. Now I will go to Identity Access Management, which is, which is Access Control. We'll have to add the Azure RBAC role so that we can use the Key Vault with the Disk Encryption Set Creator. You can use here, you can add members. If I have this is my account, you can add this account or 
you can because you, we are the I'm the owner, right? So I don't need it. So you, you this is set. I'm gonna open a new tab, and now I'm gonna set the disk encryption set here so on the search bar. Type in disk encryption set. Click on it. Click on create disk encryption set. Okay. Place it in the same resource group or I'm going to give it a name disk encryption set. For this encryption type, click on encryption at rest uh, with the customer manage key. Select your uh, key vault. It will load the keys. Select the key that we created. Select the current version. And if we want to enable automatic rotation of customer managed keys, select auto key rotation. Click on tags. Click on review create. Click on create. Let's, after that, we'll have to deploy a VM. Let it complete and then we will deploy a VM. It is completed. I'm going to click on go to resource. Okay, it says to associate a disk image or snapshot with this disk encryption set, you must grant permissions to the key vault. Click on it. Will you grant permissions? Fail to grant permissions to the key vault. This, this was disallowed by policy. Adding IP address and firewall. Is disallowed by administrator. See error for details. Okay, let me check that. Okay, I came to the access policy, and I've enabled to uh, enable access to Azure Virtual Machines for deployment, Azure Resource Manager for deployment, and Azure Disk Encryption for volume encryption. And if I go to the encryption set. See if it works now. Adding IP address in firewall is disabled by the administrator. Let me fix that. Okay. My bad. So what you have to do is on the key vault that we created, click on I am add, click on add role assignment, select the contributor, click on next, click on managed identity, click on select members and disk encryption select disk encryption set this is your disk encryption set click on select and review assign sign when it will be done okay now go back to your disk encryption set click on there and now it should work Maybe it will take some time for it. So if you this this assert encryption set has this on contributor access on key vault. Let me do that again. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know, but uh, in the past I was uh, I may be working on some lab or a video where wherein I employed a policy on the subscription level which denies adding any IP address on the Azure key vault. So that was blocking it. I removed that policy and then successfully granted permission to the Azure key vault. Okay. This is done. So I'm going to go and deploy a VM. Create a VM. I'm going to place it in the same resource group. Uh, 
I'm going to give it a name. Keep it to default. Give it a username and password. Okay. Disk. Now, on the disk, you can select the disk type, but encryption type. By default, you always get encryption at rest with a platform manage key. But now, I will select encryption at rest with a customer manage key. Okay. So, now you will get an option to select a disk encryption set. You click on next. It will create a new VNet. Brands, tags, review. Running final validation. And click on create. Alright, so this is how you enable the server side encryption with the customer managed keys on the Azure VM. Okay. In the next video, you can also maybe I'll, I'll <clears throat> create a VM, create a video to enable it on an existing disk but i'll tell you the process okay no worries so in the next video we will enable the server side encryption on the existing disk i hope you liked this video if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day